The Mali Prime Minister Mohamed Roble is having a busy week. He has been lobbying everyone involved in the election process to try and get the polls completed by the end of the year. Roble met with African Union officials to try and work out a plan for keeping peacekeepers in place when 2022 begins. Wednesday, he met with international partners at a humanitarian forum hosted by the Ministry of Relief and Disaster Management. The Prime Minister asked for help in dealing with drought conditions in many areas of the country. Roble noted the lack of rain during the recent planting season. And he read out statistics of the large number of Somalis suffering because of the conditions. The PM compared the situation to that of 2011, when a famine occurred because of the dry weather. More than a quarter of a million people died of starvation during that crisis. Hundreds of thousands crossed into Ethiopia and Kenya. Roble next tackled civil aviation in Somalia. He presented Freedom Airlines with the paperwork that certifies their ability to operate in Somalia. Freedom flies from Nairobi to Garoue, Mogadishu, and Galkayo. They also service three Kenyan destinations from the capital city. The Prime Minister also handed out pilot's licenses. Roble praised the Civil Aviation Authority for getting their accreditation processes on track. He called it an important symbol in showing a functioning government. The PM called for more transportation companies to register in Somalia instead of getting their certifications from other nations. Dallo Airlines and Juba Airways are Somali companies operating flights within the country at this time. Turkish Airlines also offer service between Mogadishu and Istanbul. ADN-TV will continue to report on political developments in Somalia.